Oh, it's such a nice, calm, quiet, peaceful day. We're going to have to do something about that. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of the Planet Crafter. And as you can see by the top right, yes, I have been very, very, very busy. I have been doing a lot of things, but it's making a lot of noise, a lot of heat, a lot of pressure, and a lot of oxygen. Uh, one of the things I have been doing uh, is I went ahead and made a whole bunch more tree seeds. And the reason why I made more tree seeds is because at, what was it, 79.5 GTI, we get the tree, tree spreader tree spreader tier 3. Uh, I have done a lot of stuff off camera, did a load of farming here, a whole bunch of stuff here. I uh, went ahead and made uh, some bacteria, some mutagens, been gathering that, a uh, whole bunch of tree bark here, and uh, uh, I tell you, I have the greatest time in the world. I was just about to hit the record button and do the intro there, and uh, Super Alloy Storm Pole showed up. It was just like, I was just a but we're ready to go up on the roof and hit record and then I heard the wind and I looked up at the sky I could see the green and it's like oh yeah here we go uh, that's all I was managed to get but uh, I did make some fertilizer did some exploring I found a few more seeds uh, I didn't think I'm in there I might have actually used them already uh, I found two more of the Orimas which is good and then I did find another Volnus and I think I actually turned that into a tree seed already uh, but uh, since we're getting high up in the numbers here and uh, if we gotta be getting up to this you know this 578 GTI which is a long 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 way away uh, we're gonna have to do a little more than build build more things like heaters and stuff like that so what I've done is I have been very busy doing a lot of gathering and resource production and I got some lockers here and these lockers, I have supplies to build three of each rocket. Three of the biomass rockets, the, the seed rocket, the uh, uh, iridium and uranium rockets. Like, everything is in here. You've got all the super alloy. There's stuff for the other ones. And so that's what I want to do. Uh, also, uh, I'm actually a few days late with this episode because there's uh, an update on the rise. Uh, it's supposed to be showing up uh, probably the next week and a half, and I was actually holding off on this episode because I was expecting it to show up because one of the things I wanted to do is uh, uh, check out the new cave that's going to be showing up. Because apparently inside this cave here somewhere, I'm not sure where, but it's supposed to branch off into a, a zeolite cave off to the left here. And it's actually currently in the developer branch right now. And I haven't checked it out. I'm actually doing the public release right now, so... We'll go with that, but anyways, let's launch some rockets. I'm going to put the super alloy away because I don't actually need this stuff. Um, I have oh, that much zeolite right now. I did do, do a little bit of exploring. That, that actually reminds me. I was watching on uh, Dre's video. Everything in this game is so noisy. But uh, I was watching Dre's video. Actually, you know what? Let's do something here. i turn the main volume down a little bit. But apparently over here somewhere there's a hidden cave that I missed. Well, I guess I didn't miss it because I didn't actually see it. Um, apparently it's really, really early, early game stuff, but it's apparently somewhere on this rock cliff. I don't know exactly whereabouts it is, but you're supposed to be able to find out with your deconstruct tool. It was supposed to be like somewhere along here. It comes up and it says uh, dismantle wreckage. I didn't know that. I think it was like right in here or something like that. There it is. You can strike the walls. And then, there is a hidden passage. And with apparently the last person that was on this planet trying to do our job. Alright, uh, how do I. Why can I not read that? Oh, still in deconstruct mode. You sent me here to die. You knew it was impossible. You didn't even care. All you care about is profit and colonization. Whoever thought this was a good idea, go to hell. The plan was never forgiveness. Be cursed to Sentinel Corp. Sure. And loads of goodies. Oh, good. We can actually we have enough to make uh, two more generators, I think. That's cool. Oh, there's some zeolite in there. Uh, I thought that was a, a tree seed or something. I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, with the update, there's supposed to be a whole bunch of stuff being un uh, introduced to the game that we can unlock. Um, another one? Really? Which one is this? 
Let's get out of the water so I can at least see what's going on here. Which one is this? Oh. Just normal resources. I've seen a few of those already now. And I was like, oh, what's this? Is this iridium or something? But no, it's like the cobalt and the titanium and stuff like that. Anyways, it's going to be noisy. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, isn't that nice? The meteor actually brought the resources right into my my base here. What is that? Is that iron? It is. Let's see if the stuff that spawns. I'm going to leave it there. Don't actually need it. I wonder if they're going to uh, introduce uh, building damage to the game. It's going to be sad. Anyway, uh... Yeah, back to what I was doing. Okay, here we are. Dawn of a new day. Let's launch some rockets, shall we? So the first one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save these ones too for these two for the afterwards. Uh, we're gonna start with the biomass. So I need fertilizer, lerma seeds, and tree bark. Now, like I said, I have enough to do three of everything. So I'll take three rockets, and then I needed uh, three lerma, three tree bark three fertilizer and then it was six super alloy okay let's do this now, I want to see how fast I can actually launch these things uh, okay so it's gonna be biomass I watched Butch do this and somehow he managed to go, to go fl flying sideways all right oh and I glitched out ha 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 we got a double rocket. I broke the game. I'm special. And there they go. They do phase out. Doesn't actually do anything. So there is the third one. Off she goes. Okay, so next is gonna be the seed spread rocket. So I get the bacteria, the mutagen, and the tree sample. Or the tree bark. I'll take three more engines, and uh, yeah, these actually took a while to make because I needed uh, the iridium rod for them, and then everything in there, and then six of those. The reason why I'm doing the, these ones first is so I don't have to actually clean anything, anything up right away. I can do all the cleanup afterwards. All right, and another one of these, and I'm sure that terraformation index is going to skyrocket when we're done here. I don't know uh, if this thousand percent is exponential or or if it's uh, just adds on to a current multiplier. Okay, there's another one. I do see it going up pretty quick though. There's another one. I didn't think that would, they didn't think that was going to go anywhere. And another one. Storm after storm after storm. You gotta love it. Alright. So now, uh. Yeah, now it's just one or the other. So take three of those. Uh, nothing left in there. I'll take six of those. And then, hmm. Might as well take all the silicone first because of the top here. Yeah. 18. Okay, good. Alright, so, uh, yeah, the first one is gonna be, ooh, uh, yeah, breathing helps, but yeah, so for the update, well, a couple of things you're gonna be doing is, I believe in this next coming update, there is apparently a breathable atmosphere coming up at some point, I don't know when it's gonna be, and apparently they are introducing insects into it, so we'll see how that is, but as you can see, that's still a long ways away. Alright, so, we're... Climbing at an alarming rate. Now that I have saved my life, let's get back up there and make some more damage. Where'd that come from? Probably the earlier storm. Well, let's make a storm of my own. Alright, so this is going to be uh, increasing the pressure and it gives me iridium. Okay. And launch that one. Now I know these are going to be like successions of storms, so this might be a little 
bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera, clean up my mess and bring it back with uh, the goods. Just in the second uh, Iridium rocket right now, you can actually see the meteors on the, the GPS map. That's awesome. There's one right there. I like to hit that wall. See like the debris and all that stuff, so that's pretty cool. Thought you bring you back for that, but uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Okay, I'm back, and uh, that was actually a lot more than I was expecting. For one, this is full. I think I only had it to the rod in here before, so that's full. I have what's in my inventory. Let me go scurry back outside here over to the, to the lockers. That's half full. Now it's all, all full. Uh, that's all full. And I think that was it. But yeah, like three and a half lockers. Uh, I'm sure some, some despawned, but yeah, there was a lot out there. So now let's do the other ones. Uh, what did I need? I need three of these, so nine. Yeah, I don't know why I got my math wrong. Anyways, so nine of that. Uh, the terraformation index is just climbing right now. Do that. We don't need that in there. And then go and grab the three rockets. And let's get some uranium. The uh, shiny green rocks from space. Uh, it did take a while for everything to cycle through, though. It definitely was going storm after storm after storm. So we'll launch that. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to launch three of these. And then go and clean up the mess off and then show you the hall afterwards and by that time we should almost be there. There's number two. And it's starting already. That's two. I have noticed it is really starting to get green out there. Those uh, biomass rockets really do have an impact on what I'm trying to achieve here. That was a close one. And uh, three and I'll see you in a minute okay I am back and that's actually uh, stuff I cleaned up from outside oh, that's the wrong way anyway uh, yeah so those two can take those two lockers are full cabinets whatever I call them if I'm hungry again anyway uh, yeah I had, a, I had a few other storms but uh, these are all full of uranium and iridium a little more concerned about the iridium, the uranium, but uh, there's equal amount of both. Uh, now what I'm going to do is, since we have all this iridium, I notice that the heat level could go up a little bit. Uh, I don't know if those rockets are going to uh, affect anything we build from this point on, but we shall find out. Um, let's actually find out right now. Uh, let's see, I need inventory space. One sec. That's better. Now, fortunately, I do have uh, explosive powder made, so I'm just going to make a couple of rods for now. Uh, that's what's going to help clear up some inventory space. I think I can do one more. Yes, I can. So let's go place another heater somewhere. Um, hmm. Starting to get noisy up top. I have to find another place to put it, I think. Let's see here. Why not? I wonder if I can attach to the side here. Oh, that's the wrong one. No, it has to actually be placed on a base. Hmm. I wonder if it really does matter where I place this. Eh, not really. I would like to keep it within, sort of, around the base. Oh, oh, here we go. Nice and quiet up here. Let's do something about that. I okay, uh, will place one there. I didn't actually see what the heat was. I think it was 70,500. Oh wow, that went up 40 grand. Try this again. So six, 743. Let's build another one. Ooh, I have two rods already. Take explosive powder. One, two, three super alloy. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the power situation because it doesn't matter. I can build two more of these. And another storm. Oh, what do you know? I was hungry. Osmium. Nice. Alright, so what was it? 743? So please, uh, that there. And then go back down here. And I remember I got stuck because I placed that other food grower there. And I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on. And I'm back. And I gotta admit, this is one stormy day. Alright, uh, yeah, I wanted to. Yeah, osmium and sulfur. Alright, so yeah, one heater placed 40. It's gotta be going up 40,000. I think 
right now to speed things up if I wanted to would be the tree spreader because that produces the oxygen I'm just going to be doing 2,000 a second instead of the 538 a second with the heat now we're going to be getting that fairly soon that oxygen level is going up mighty quick uh, the tree spreader will help with the biomass as well so what I might do might go AFK a little bit, let this build up as long as I don't uh, let my vitals drop too low and I'll bring you back when I'm ready to plant some more trees that was a slow asteroid oh, would you look at that 78.7 just about we are almost there, I think it was 79.5 that's the wrong panel uh, yeah, 79.5 um, I was looking at the map here and kind of gone now it's like uh it was some, something that i saw here it was like almost looks like a part of the ship was on top of the rock or something like that i just had to build up there and investigate there was nothing up there it was just a visual glitch just like how this whole chunk of the rock here is missing now even though it was actually there before but we are just about ready uh i thought about did think about building more uh heaters i did think about building more tree spreaders but as far as the tree spreaders go i might as well wait because we're going to be getting uh the, the the big boys here in a minute check on look at these numbers i have no idea what what is really expected to be like what's the air pressure is supposed to be realistically supposed to be what's the heat really realistically supposed to be and the oxygen like what's it supposed to be compared to the real world i guess uh anyway uh, enough rambling i'll just cut here and bring you back when it's time i have returned and as you can tell I didn't do anything, I just stood here for about a minute and a half waiting for the counter to go. Anyway, uh, we were just about ready. Now, the moment of truth. One, or let's give you three, three questions we have. One, how much is it going to cost? Two, what's it going to do for us? And three, how many can I build? And... Tree spreader tier three. That's actually not too bad. Wow goes from 1950 to 12,500 and the biomass goes up like four and a half times it uses a lot of power though but only needs one zeal like ooh you know you have to build all 12 of these things um wait what what was I thinking of a fertilizer now let's see what I can make for fertilizer here because I need 12 of the tier 2's I have I have 10 fertilizers, so I just have to make 2 more fertilizer and 9 more fertilizer tier 2. Fortunately, I have all the supplies I made, so let me throw all this together and I'll be, I'll be right back. Actually, what we'll do first, now I was thinking about doing this already. Uh, I am going to need a, another generator. No, I did not put them in there. Where did I put them? I put them over here. Yes. I will make two more of these. I'm actually going to build two of these reactors, even though that's serious overkill, but we'll do it anyways, just because we can. I will need eight super alloy. And then I'm going to need one of those. Actually, two of those. Two of those. And then freshly plummeted to earth. Uranium and iridium. Run all the way over to here past the advanced craft that I was going to use make two more pulse, pulsar quartz crystals and I actually about building the generators in here just because I don't really care how they look we'll just I'm sort of facing each other like so now I won't have to worry about power for a very 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 very, very long time I think Ah, give it a few episodes. See what kind of new toys they give us. Anyways, I have fertilizer to make. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. And I have the last of the tier 2 fertilizer made. So I've got made, a, made enough of the fertilizer to build 12 of these. 
So I think we'll be doing three at a time because there's all I have inventory space for to carry. So I need the two fertilizer, bark, zeolite, bacteria sample, super alloy. I will have to make some more bacteria sample. That is fine. So we'll do that. We we'll do that. Um, take tree bark and what was this the other one? Zeolite and super alloy. Okay. And of course, we'll take a couple of trees. A uh, couple of trees. Let's take. Uh, let's take one of each for now. And I gotta stop walking into things like always. And we'll just take everything. Why not? So, oh yeah, I want to check the oxygen, the biomass. Now this is supposed to be doing 12,500 a second on oxygen. So if I build 12, 12 of these, uh, in theory it should be doing 150,000 per second. But we'll see about the multipliers and the biomass is 680. So 68 should be about 9,000, 8,500, 9,000 biomass per second. Uh, okay, now what am I missing on me? Oh, yeah, I need zeolite, don't I? No, let's not drop it. That stuff is that stuff is so rare. It's not like it just happens to fall from the sky or anything like that. Yeah, it does. Anyway, uh, I'm thinking I might go start uh, getting some foliage in this area. Try to get this out a little bit. I like how the, green, the ground is starting to get a little more greener in some areas. I haven't really seen much as far as grass go goes, but it's almost as if that dirt texture starts to disappear. Anyway, uh, tier three tree spreader. Don't really know how well it's going to do, but there is one. We'll go over here. Uh, I guess we'll do another one right here. Just because if they overlap, that's fine. It just means more jungle, right? And we'll throw another one right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this going. I think I think I might actually cover this whole area, maybe up to here, and then I'll bring you back. Maybe I'll even let the trees grow a little bit and see what we have afterwards. So I shall return. My base looks like a metropolis city at night. Unbelievable. Okay, I am done. Uh, trees are growing. Apparently those things have quite the range that they have. But if you look at the terraformation index, it's going up like four times what it was earlier. And look at that. Oh my god. We are like 3.5 million now. Now we're at 15.4 million. And the biomass jumped, jumped up 40,000 grams. Oh, 400,000 grams per second. Wow. So it's not going to take too much, too long to get to the, the next tier, which is going to be the fusion energy cell, and we get to explore the wrecks. We'll probably end up doing that before the next update, and then we'll see how things go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to not spoil the surprise, and I'm going to let this go for a few minutes, and then we'll go down and check out the trees, and then we'll end the episode. So hang tight, and I'll be right back. Okay, as we pass 101 G. We have trees ready to be seen. So let's go down here and have a look. So basically what it is, I've covered up the whole area. Oh my god, that's actually doing better than I thought. Uh, yeah, I covered the whole area. As you can see, the, these tree splitters have quite the range. Because these ones here are actually coming from this one over here. This was quite a ways. I started noticing so I placed one down and I go place one down somewhere else. I was like, started seeing trees and it's like, where's the trees coming from? I looked and it was like it was way over there, so... Ah, this is nice. Certainly a lot better than that... That desert we were living on. Oh, I thought I was starting to see resources. Oh, this is cool, I like this. You know what's really handy about having these tree spreaders is you can sort of... Customize it, uh... The terraformation process, like you can go all one specific tree if you want. These are still actually growing. Wow. I wonder how big they're going to get. Not exactly the, the best looking trees in the world. Um, but. Oh. Wow, there's a pond over here. I have a drink. Oh my god. I just realized I'm not actually going to get lost in here now. Can't even, can't even see the ship. Wow. It's over here somewhere. 
I know it is. I haven't buried it yet. That's cool. This one here even got to that little island over there. That is nice. Have a quick, dr have a quick drink. And I like how the, the green is sort of traveling across the hills now, mind you. We're terrified at such an alarming rate right, right now. But this is cool. This is really interesting. I can't wait to um, till the next update story you start seeing things like uh, insects and um, whatever else you were playing. Uh, a breathable atmosphere would be definitely need to be nice because if we're actually gen generating this much biomass and plants and oxygen, we should theoretically not have to worry about having a helmet on, right? Who knows? But anyways, I think this is a good place to call it. Uh, so there's definitely a couple of days in the, the works. This is actually a nice, cool, nice looking plant. I almost wonder if they're procedurally generated in some way. Not necessarily procedurally generated, but uh, you know, a specific style, but the actual model itself is sort of procedurally generated the way the branches uh, are generated because it's it's almost like they are, each tree is completely different. I don't know, but I do know that these are going to be definitely big trees. So anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.